Hello and welcome back to Pushblock Gaming. I am Jake, and today we're talking some more multiverses, going over our beginner Wonder Woman guy. <laughs> character so she's kind of built around survival and having these bigger hitboxes and things like this. She specializes in giving her allies and herself armor in order to power through things and block projectiles. Um, so with that she helps people stay alive, she helps herself stay alive and she's really good at going and taking extra risks like going off stage into the blast zone or towards the top and able to secure kills. She has a lot of really cool things in her kit and she's the character I've played the most since the game started. I've actually hit around top 150 ish with her in both um, 1v1 and 2v2 queues, so I'm really excited to sort of share the little bit of knowledge I have with you guys. Um, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Wonder Woman and Multiverse is a really all-around, pretty well-balanced character. So she has a pretty good balance of relying on both her normal moves and her special moves. So we're going to start going over her normals first and show you some of her basic game plan before moving on to some of the more intricate stuff she has. So here, starting out with her grounded moves, her neutral attack or her grounded normal. Her, her grounded neutral is this charged forward swing. It moves you forward about one block on the training mode stage. It's chargeable. It can KO at full charge pretty easily. Um, but it also, you know, it, it moves you forward a little bit. It can be done out of some combos. It can be dodged out of. Um, you know, it'll be done a little quicker in the combos. And then once you hit, you can hit cancel it. But, you know, so charging up, moving out of it. These kind of things are all useful for baiting enemies and being able to stay safe. The next move she has is going to be her grounded up attack. It's sort of a upwards shield swing, covers a lot of the area above her. It can be charged as well. And this one becomes a combo tool um, when it's thrown out quickly like this. It can combo into other juggle setups and things like that. Um, but at full charge, this is a pretty potent kill move. Then next will be her jab combo or her side attack. This is a three hit punch kick shield stab combo. It can kill at higher higher damage towards the ledge, but really where this move shines is going to be doing moves out of it. So, you know, canceling after two hits um, and doing things like that or canceling after one and getting combos like this. Lastly is her down attack. So her down attack is pretty unique. It is the Amazon shout here. As you see, it has armor. When you let it go, it is a shout that powers up over the charge. It gets bigger throughout the duration. Um, but unlike most charge moves, Power isn't directly linked to the amount of time you charge. If you look at the small bar underneath Wonder Woman there, that meter will go up whenever she armors through a move or blocks a projectile. So whenever you armor through a move, block a projectile, something like that, the power of this move will go up immensely. So at full charge, this becomes a really potent kill move, and it can also be done quickly out of some of these jab moves and stuff like that as well. After that, we have Wonder Woman specials, and so we're going to talk about how you can charge up this down attack we were just talking about. So the first one is going to be this side special here. It is a shield bash that afterwards you become armored and can walk around with the shield. This blocks projectiles. It also gives you armor to block up to one hit. Multi hits will break this armor though. Um, so you can shield shield bash and it has pretty good knockback, can kill, sets up for edge guards, things like that, but can also power through projectiles once you see that armor symbol up there. The other cool thing this shield bash can do is that if you go through your ally, it will also grant them armor for a second. So that is a really useful thing, and both you or your ally taking hits will help charge up your down attack. Next up will be Wonder Woman's up special, which is another upwards shield bash, which if you see, you can hold here for that whole duration of the bar, and this actually becomes a platform that your allies can jump on. So this is pretty similar to your, your side special there, but it's an upwards one used for recovery, um, used to, you know, you can drift back to stage a little bit, um, it can set up allies. You also can use it and then like jump dodge out of it and go really high, right? You know, so you wait for someone to make a move and then you can cover stuff. You can dodge out of it. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do with this move. It's a really fun one. Up special will also grant your allies um, armor if you go through them. So that will also help buff your down special. Uh, things like that. So it's a useful move. Say if someone's getting juggled, you can save them here, block them and give them armor for a second. Stuff like that. The next will be her last one of her most iconic moves and a move that can change a lot depending on how the move is used. So against enemies, you press your neutral special, the lasso comes out and it whips them towards you for a combo. 
However, if you use it on your ally, it gives them armor and brings them back to you so you can save them from bad situations. And so here you can see the different uses. It can be angled uh, up and down, sort of at 45 degree angles here. Um, it can be used for edge guards, combos, all kinds of stuff. It also is the move that changes with two of her perks, but we'll talk about that more later. Lastly, there is her down special. So her down special dashes to the ally, or if you don't have an ally, just puts the armor on you and gives you armor for a short duration. So this move is really useful for both protecting your allies, saving them from things like combos and juggles and edge guards. Uh, but you have to be careful if, you're, if your ally is getting comboed by multi-hit or something you can't get in there and save enough, quick enough, you will just get comboed alongside them. So it's kind of a high risk, high reward. But also with this, right, if your ally is jumping and going to cover someone, right, it can allow you to cover even higher and follow up off of their combos. So a lot of potential in this move, both offensively and defensively. Wonder Woman's aerials are some of her best moves. Um, this is her side air here. It is an overhead swipe of her sword with two hands. It is really good. You have great aerial momentum with it. Um, it goes above and below you for the most part, so it's everything around you. Um, it can combo. It's really good to hit cancel out of. Uh, it can KO off the sides with edge guards, things like that. It is a really good move. Next up would be her neutral air, which kind of serves the same purpose. It's a little bit smaller, more just directly in front of her, but it's a multi multi hit spin swipe of her sword. Um, and as you can tell by the purple hue on it, this does break armor as a multi hit. So if you know your, your enemy is going to try to armor through your forward air or your side air here, um, this is when you neutral air. And neutral air does have some combo follow ups, a lot of untrue things that can sort of be setups, uh, but overall, a pretty good move as well. Then we have Wonder Woman's up air. Up air is really good for juggles. It can kill off the top. You know, you can do things like this out of out of up special, um, other things. So it's it's a really good move. It also has a spike hitbox at the very end of it if you do it closer to the ground, kind of like a Tipman if you've ever played Super Smash Brothers, like that. There we go. Then we have down air. Down air is the last one. It is a one more downward swing of the sword. It's a pretty strong downer. It kills pretty early off the stage. It can spike pretty hard, but it's not very active. So the move isn't out very long. It's a pretty specific timing for it. Um, and it's also a rather small hitbox. It's just the sword. No, not her legs, nothing else. So it's kind of, you can see like you don't hit right here, right here. But once you get right on him, it does work. And so Wonder Woman doesn't really have a ton of crazy combos, but she has some simple combos that can lead into her getting reads and getting kills off of the sides and things like that. And we'll start off with some jab combos and go from there. So the main thing with jab combos is you're going to have three variations kind of depending on damage, your positioning, stuff like that. Um, if you are really close, here's what you're going to go for. If you are kind of normal spacing, not super close, but not super far away, you're going to want to go for the down attack, which can scale up um, if you have your bar charged up. And if you're a little further away, you can go for your neutral attack. Out of forward air, you can also get some combos. The same thing with neutral air. And down air also has combo potential. But ultimately, a lot of Wonder Woman stuff is going to be off of reads following up. So whether you hit someone off stage and then you can follow their drift, things like that. But a lot of her combos are going to come from untrue situations where she has a lot of options to follow up her true moves or her hits. And so here, these don't set up anything true necessarily, but they do set up into some crazy potential follow up. So like that's not a true combo, but those are all things that if they don't dodge or if you do that and then they do dodge, you can like wait. So you can just do that. And then if they dodge down, you can cover it, stuff like that. So Wonder Woman has three major perks. We're going to go over them in the order in which you unlock them in the game. So the first one you get is the Whip of Hephaestus. This adds a tipper or a tip to the end of Wonder Woman's lasso, her neutral special, and it has powerful knockback, it says. So this is similar to Marth if you've played Super Smash Brothers, where at the end of the whip now, there will be a powerful spot that can KO enemies pretty early. Um, kind of be a combo finisher off of a read, things like that. Um, and it adds a little more offensive firepower to her moveset. The next one that Wonder Woman unlocks is the Grapple of Hermes. This essentially turns her neutral special, the lasso, once again into another type of move, this time into a grapple, similar to Batman's side special. 
So here it'll grab the lightning out of the air and pull her to that location. And once she gets there, she will throw a small hitbox, um, allowing her to even combo off and do some other things. But this perk primarily just allows her to have a little bit more mobility, maybe get, go a little deeper edge guarding, um, and open up a couple new combos for her. The last major perk she has is the Shield of Athena. This makes it so that when you dodge, you create a barrier that blocks any projectiles. This barrier will then go on cooldown after you use it successfully. So this is a perk generally you'd pick into some projectile characters or projectile comps such as Bugs Bunny or Velma. All three perks are viable in both singles and doubles, so it's kind of based on the matchup and personal preference here. Now when it comes to the minor perks, there is a whole lot that Wonder Woman can do. And so I'm going to start off with each category and go through them and what perks I think are viable for her and which ones are useful. Um, so in the offensive category, there are a few ones. I think generally if you want an offensive perk, I would recommend Lumpy Space Punch, giving you 5% increased damage to melee attacks in the air. You know, usually almost everything you have except for lasso is some form of a melee attack. And so this would buff things like your side air, your up special, your side special, even your down air. All of these things being buffs from it and help give you that little bit of extra damage and kill power. Um, the other one I recommend could be up up and slay. Uh, I recommend this in teams more specifically, but you could go to the horizontal knockback one as well. Uh, but both the vertical and horizontal knockback perks are very useful depending on if you are playing the 2v2 and if your team kind of relies on a certain direction of comboing or killing, uh, whether that's off the top or off the side. The last one I would recommend would be Slippery When Faint. So this um, adds 10% increase to dodge distance when dodging out of attack hit cancel. Um, and so some, this is something that with forward air and neutral air from Wonder Woman, you can dodge out of those a lot to get follow-ups and to get reads and things like that. And so she benefits off of this a pretty significant amount. When it comes to defense, once again, these are all kind of situational and kind of uh, depending on map, character matchups, and preference. Um, and so she unlocks Kryptonian skin off of the bat, and this gives your team 4% reduced incoming damage. This helps uh, make her a little tankier, lets you survive a little longer and sort of build off of some of those armor skills and stuff you already have. Um, I also think School Me Once is another perk that's really viable on the defensive end. Uh, you receive a projectile block buff for two seconds after being knocked back by a projectile. This is good against teams like Bugs Velma, like I said, or Rain Dog, things like that. It's definitely kind of a counter pick perk. And then lastly, I would also say Tune Elasticity can be good. This gives you a 20% reduction to ground and wall bounce velocity. So here this is good on stages like um, the Haunted Mansion or anything else that has walls you can bounce off of and potentially get KO'd off of. Um, it gives you 20% less knockback off of those bounces essentially and could even be useful to mess up some characters combos that go off of things like down there. Lastly, in utility, this is the one I'm going to say you have to have almost every time is going to be Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla gives you a 10% reduced ability cooldown duration. So with this, this allows you to use your down special mode to provide yourself or your ally armor, which is amazing. It lets you have like a free approach tool, uh, getting out of disadvantage or getting out of um, juggles for free sometimes. It also allows you to use your whip much more frequently or your lasso, I guess, for most perks. Um, your lasso much more frequently, which is also a really big part of her kit. Um, and so with those two cooldowns more readily available, it really helps her in a lot of ways. I would also recommend Triple Jump as an amazing utility perk that'll help her extend her combos and edge guards. Whenever you hit an ally or you hit an enemy in the air, you get an extra jump. So this can be really good for following combos and continuing to combo people towards the blast zones to get earlier KOs. With Wonder Woman struggling to kill from center stage, this perk can be really valuable to help go that extra mile and find an extra hit closer to those blast zones. When it comes to the 2v2 game mode or doubles, this is where Wonder Woman really shines and shoots up the tier list a little bit compared to the 1v1 or singles. And so within this, she really pairs with most characters in the game really well. I say she's generally one that can slide into almost any team composition and benefit her ally and make what they do a little better. You jump? Uh, but that doesn't mean she doesn't have preferential pairings that I would suggest. Generally, I would say any of the Assassin class characters go really well with Wonder Woman. Assassins like Finn, Harley, and Arya all would pair extremely well because of how light they are and how much damage they take. Having the extra survivability that Wonder Woman can grant them is a really big deal for them and allows them to excel and play at their best. Wonder Woman can stock tank and survive for long periods of time and keep her allies alive while allowing them to go all over the screen, use their quickness and mobility and early kill power to rack up all of those things that they need to be truly successful. Then the other character I'd recommend would be Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny is one of the best characters in the game and so naturally Wonder Woman pairs really well with him. 
I think he has a lot of kill power, a lot of setups, and a lot of things going on to compensate for the simplicity of Wonder Woman. He can really pull out all tricks and give the enemy a lot of things to think about, while Wonder Woman can then clean up lives and keep him alive even longer. So there you have it. There's my Wonder Woman beginner guide with a lot of tips and tricks and all of the knowledge I have gained here on my road to the top 150 with the character. I hope that it helps. I know there's not as much because a lot of her kit is kind of read based, be able to help your teammate. Um, so she's really good in the 2v2 though. So I recommend you just try her out and get a feel for her. Um, if you have any specific questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below or on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash dj8 where I stream multiverses all the time, play Wonder Woman and a bunch of other characters, currently getting every character on the roster up to level 15 and it's been a blast. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you want to see more. Let me know what other characters you want in the comments next. We have some more popularly requested characters up next, I promise. I just had to make this one because I was really feeling passionate about Wonder Woman. Thanks guys, see you next time.